what's up? Welcome to the full day of eating. Today we are going to FPS make my morning shake. First thing is a little bit of mixed fruit. Got strawberries, peaches, and pineapple. Thrown in like a serving of that. Then of course the most important part is these frozen bananas cut into little slices. Probably about a banana and a half to two bananas depending. Gotta grab me a handful of spinach for the micros and for the proteins. Speaking of protein, I'm gonna grab myself a scoop of my protein brown rice protein. This stuff is unflavored so in smoothies is how I like to intake it the most. I don't even taste it. Gonna throw in a little bit of creatine, raspberry ketones, a little grapeseed extract. All this my protein stuff, if you are interested, is available under the video in the description. There's a discount and a link and all that stuff. Oh yes, and of course, also, some delicious cacao nibs, just a handful of that. And finally, a little bit of maca powder. Then of course, we're just gonna finish it all off with a little bit of almond milk. I just use as much as it needs to make the right consistency, which usually ends up being about a cup and a half to two cups. Then, we blend. So this morning shake brings me up to 631 calories. By the way, this is called MyFitnessPal. It's the app I use to track my calories and macros. 88 grams of carbs, 17 grams of fat, and 32 grams of protein. So we're starting off the morning pretty all right, baby. Hi. Hey, how you doing, you little cutie pants? How you doing, Scooby-Doo McGee? Huh, how you doing? You're beautiful. You're luscious. Delicious. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to this full day of eating. I'm almost done with my smoothie here. Today, I'm gonna to show you everything that I'm eating as a bodybuilder who is bulking, who is also vegan. This morning, I have just a few things I need to do. One, I need to make a thumbnail for the video that's going up today because I'm recording this on Wednesday. And two, I need to count and inventorize all of these shirts and then another bucket that's behind me. And then these are the ones that I have already inventorized. So I'm just gonna count them all out because we're actually gonna start stocking some of the BTW and also probably some of the O2B hand printed gear that we've printed ourselves. We're gonna start stocking that at a physical gym down here in San Diego called Pro TF, so it's gonna be super sick doing that tomorrow, so I gotta count these all right now. It's a loud ass jackhammer, but first, before we go any farther into this full day eating, let's do the You Name It Challenge. Beans, 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 got curry on the plate, but I'ma keep it real clean. Potatoes on the fork, got gravies on the scene. Grab me some more of that pie with the cream. Eat like an army. Turkeys running off like damn you can't harm me. Pigs laughing off like damn you can't farm me. Veggies getting popped though, can't starve me. Flow so hot, can't stop it with the pot. Tofu on deck and I'm dropping a block. Pan oiled up cause I keep it real hot. Try this yourself, but probably not. Uh, you name it challenge. <laughs> You name it, challenge. What did you guys think? I'm a giant clown, and I just posted it on Instagram. Also, look who's here. Oh, whoa! Whoa! Oh! Oh! Wow! Just finished the leg workout. Uh, Kirk did a little bit back, and then I did legs, and I listened to my own song like 55,000 times, which I know is pretentious and terrible, but I think that just tells me that I should definitely pursue rap a little bit more because I definitely love to do it. If you guys wanna follow me, I do have a SoundCloud where I rap and I'm gonna be uploading a lot more stuff in the next six months. Check it out, link below. You about to take off in the mom van, bro? Here she is. <laughs> this is like pimp my ride, dude. Get one of me next to the fucking. Yo, we put a van inside your van so you can mom while you mom. <laughs> All right, man, get that music. I will. I'm gonna get this food. All right, so we actually lied to you, Kurt. Didn't leave. We were babbling on about a little bit of stuff and then remembered we were supposed to get this inversion table to the house. Uh, excuse my dirty garage. It's a garage. It's what it's supposed to be. So how do you feel about it? Dude, it's <laughs> so awesome. So like, okay, I'm, maybe some of you guys don't haven't seen one before, right? Yeah. So uh, this is actually one of my first experiences with it too. It locks your feet in, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And it's for like, spine health, uh, making sure all of your vertebra. Decompressing them. Yes, decompressing, stretching you out, getting you all nice. This is something I should have done like two years ago too. Me too. Yeah, right? <laughs> so we're slacking. Yeah, so. I wanna see it. Uh, yeah, so then you just flip upside down. Using these little handles. Yeah. There you go. Nice and slow. Full oh. bat mode. And then Thank you come down here. And then your face gets really red. Yeah, you're already veining out, bro. <laughs> How does it feel? It feels really good, dude. I'm just, all the tightness, I'm having some tightness in my lower back. Yeah. And it's just. Does it relieve it a lot? Just relieve, because it's not compressing you. Yours is lower back, right? Yeah, so 
It's really nice. I just wish I could hang upside down for like an hour at a time because I would just do it. Right. But I can't because my face is going to explode. Well, now every time you come over and every time we're about to go to the gym, we should do this for five minutes each. I'm in. Because this will be good for my scolioso and this will be good for your lower back pain. Yeah, dude. Look at this, guys. This is pretty sweet. Hands free, dog. Yeah, boy. So this is a piece of equipment we got like two years ago from somebody that let us like have it, but we just never moved it into my house. So we've officially moved into my house. Got dirty ass hands from it. Uh, and hopefully this starts helping me. I'll keep you guys updated with how it feels and if it's changing my scoliosis or the way I feel or anything like that. But now for real, we're actually saying, Goodbye to Kirk. <sighs> okay, bye. Peace, man. All right, so my post-workout meal, I've got my veggies cooking in the frying pan already, so I got a little bit of mushrooms, got a little bit of some baby carrots, and I got a good amount of spinach. I'm gonna let all that cook a little bit, and then for the main portion of the dish, what I got, I'm gonna add a little bit of brown rice, I'm gonna add some of these tofurkey deli slices, I'm really just doing this because I ran out of like other little proteins. Usually I have like some seitan or some tempeh I can crumble up into there, but this has got a good amount of protein in it. Then I have a cup of black beans right here, and finally, I'm gonna make this kind of a Mexican tasting thing, so I'm gonna add hot sauce, as well as a little bit of guacamole. But before I get into cooking, I'm also gonna throw this into water just to hydrate it while, uh, while I'm cooking. So this is called, these are called soy curls. And basically what these things are is just these little strips made out of soybeans. And these strips, once you hydrate them, they're kind of like, uh, I don't know, like little pieces of like carne asada or like beef or something like that. And then you, after they hydrate in about 10 minutes, you throw them into a bag and marinate them. It's seriously super good. For me, I like to eat good, but I also like to eat conveniently and quickly. So I don't like to cook things that have 52 steps. This, I can rehydrate, I can marinate, throw it right in the frying pan like anything else. So the brand I use, because I know a lot of people are gonna ask, is Butler. I use whatever, you know, has high reviews on Amazon, but I think you should get it on Amazon because I have no idea where you'd buy these in real life. Half the stuff I get, I have no idea where real life would actually have it, but Amazon has it. So use Amazon, I think that's the best way to do it. Also, if you're gonna use Amazon, use my code amazonbrian.com. It redirects you to Amazon's homepage, doesn't cost you a single dime, but it helps support the channel. Let's see what this food's looking like. Oh man, oh man, oh man. This is what we're looking like after it's been cooking for a little bit. I did add a little bit of chili pepper, a little bit of uh, onion powder, and a little bit of garlic powder, just because I like the flavors. Also, it adds a little bit of nutrients in there. But more importantly than all that, I have a question for you spicy friends out there. What's the best type of hot sauce? Is it Tapatio, is it Chipotle Tabasco flavor, or is it Cholula? I gotta hear it right now. I wanna know. Baby girl personally really likes Tapatio, so uh, that's what we got in the fridge right now. I think that's a good amount. Mix it up a little bit, and then we are into the bowl. Bam, right onto the plate. This is what we're looking like after it gets out of the frying pan. I added a little bit of lemon and lime, and a little bit, like two tablespoons of salsa, just for a little bit of flavoring. Got the guap, the guac right here. This is gonna be a really, really delicious meal. Seriously, I'm super hungry. I probably won't show you every single meal for the rest of the night, but right now, this brings me up to 187 grams of carbs, 33 grams of fat, and 70 grams of protein, so we're doing pretty good. Then this over here is what the soy curls are looking like after they come out of the water, and then you strain them. Now all we gotta do is marinate, and I'm using teriyaki this time. I couldn't find any Korean barbecue sauce in there. I was pretty sad about that. But just throw it in there and then mix it around like this and then you just toss this into a fridge. It can be like two or three hours to marinate it or if you want to do it overnight, it's going to be even better. Three hours later. Okay, so for the last about two hours, I've been working on this new thing on YouTube called end screens. So basically at the end of your video, you know you guys see at the end of my videos go CT and then there's all those things you can click. Basically YouTube has changed the way that they're doing it. So now you have to use an entirely different template and uh, it's... It takes a little bit of time to create stuff that uh, that fits that template. So I've been working on that. I'm actually almost finished, which I'm really, really stoked about because we also, we gotta get going pretty soon. It's 7.15, I'm supposed to be down at this gym at eight o'clock to deliver some of these clothes for them. So that means I gotta wake up baby girl because uh, she likes to sit behind me whenever I'm working and she fell asleep. So I'm gonna wake her up and then we're gonna get our asses moving. Pro TM. I'm excited as hell, Brian man. Turner's in here, come check it out, bro. I'm so stoked. Let me show you the spot, yeah. Dude, the location you guys got. You're telling me. Bro. Holy moly. Wow. This class just ended, so. High ceilings? Yeah, bro. Woo. Nice tall ceilings. Corner What's up, corner. man? How you doing? Damn. This is fire. Treadmill, rower, bike, resist machine, barbell weights, dumbbell weights. Check out this rock wall pegboard over here. Oh, what? Bro, you gotta hop on it, bro. Dude, <laughs> I don't know about that with the shoulder, man. Oh, yeah, never mind. <laughs> Dude, that's so Whoa. tight. Get on it, Ross. Climbing it like a monkey. 
<laughs> I love that you guys got high ceilings, man. The worst thing to work out in is a low ceiling gym. Yeah, you breathe in your own air and stuff. Look at these forearms right here. He's bumped as fuck. <laughs> So we just chatted for a, a freaking really long time. Everybody else left except for my man Ross. What's up, you all? I don't know if I've ever introduced you on the channel, have I? You have not. This is my man Ross. What's up, guys? What's the gym, man? Yeah, man, so this is Pro TF. We're in La Mesa out here in San Diego. We're partnering with Beyond the Week and Obese to Beast, little secret for you guys. Also, what we do here is group training and personal training, so it's a great spot to be. We hope to see you guys. One last thing, if you don't follow this guy, you need to follow him. If you are following him, you're doing something right with your life. So congrats to you, keep it up. I can love you, bro. Let's go. <laughs> so check this out. This is like the sickest thing, man. Like This is something I've always wanted to do. I've always wanted to do this. Uh, have a physical location that you can actually go and pick up some Beyond the Week and O2B apparel. So right now on the wall, you probably already kind of see it. We got the one rep at a time in gray. We got the Beyond the Week bold print in light blue. And we got the Beyond the Week bold print in gray. And we got the one rep at a time in black. And then we got a bunch of inventory back here that they're gonna pack up and stuff. But basically, if you are in San Diego, if you're gonna travel through it or whatever it is, you can just stop by this place. It's in La Mesa, if you do know where that is. Uh, you can pick up something right here, check out the gym, get a workout in. But yeah, I just wanted to like let you guys know and show you guys uh, before I go get some more food for the rest of the night. Check it out, guys. Pro TF Fitness, these are my homies. They've been working on this for a really long time and they're very proud of it. I'm very proud of them. They've done a really, really, really cool job here. What you just saw right there is those soy curls that I marinated earlier. Drop it into the frying pan. This stuff is freaking delicious. Like, look at it. Doesn't it already look like, it looks like mock meat, right? It's super good and it's super quick to make. Over in this other frying pan, I've got a bunch of green beans going and then I'm also gonna make a, a ton of potatoes. Are you hangers? Do you have hanger in your blood? Yeah. All right, guys, this is what it is looking like after it is all plated. Boom, so freaking delicious. Of course, I'm sharing this with baby girl as well, so she's gonna take like a, a little less than like, maybe like a quarter or something like that of everything here. All this is gonna bring me up to about 3,200 calories, so of course, you know the last thing that I'm gonna have before I go to bed? Of course, as always, the Chocolate Mint Cliff Bar on the classy leopard print blanket this time. All right, and with that, that drives us to the end of today's eating, and I am at 3,440 calories, I believe. 478 grams of carbs, 93 grams of fat, and 175 grams of protein. Well, that came in pretty high. Wow, so that was actually a little bit higher protein than I usually aim for. I usually aim for somewhere around like 145 to 155 grams of protein, sometimes a little higher than that, but that was pretty high today. Sometimes that just happens. It's really not that hard. That I guess that kind of proves it really is not that hard to... Um, bulk on a vegan diet and get your protein in. Everyone thinks it's like really hard to get a protein in when you're on a vegan diet. All right guys, it is way too late. I am way too hungry and way too dehydrated. I am gonna go to bed, but I appreciate you guys coming in, watching the video. Seriously, I love that you guys come in here and watch these full day eatings. They're like the most fun ones ever because I get to take you through my whole day while showing you what I eat. It's awesome. Check out all my apparel, gear, online coaching, everything on beyondtheweek.com. Appreciate you guys coming in here. Make sure you like the video if you enjoyed it. Comment and let me know what you thought below. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, Team Beyond the Week, CT! Lift heavy or die Myron, motherfucker. Mm. Team Beyond the Week, CT! Lift heavy or die Myron.